Welcome to the Electronic Church of God of Arizona and the Lord's Care Ministry. Today is May 1st, the second work day of the week, the day that on our calendar calls a Tuesday. The pagan calls it May Day, and where we, as a kid, they used to take us out on the playground and swing around the maypole. And then all fall down. This kid's got a big kick out of that to fall down and roll around. The teacher never completed that, thank God. If you take a study, the pagans had it at May Day. They swung around the pole, all fell down and had an orgy right there. Don't believe me? Stick, check it all out. And you'll find that is the truth. Well, brother, it is time to get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, a year to search for knowledge and truth, day 122 of the year 2012. Today's study is about faith, not emotion. Faith, not emotion. Brother, I suggest you write the chapter and verse down that we give you so that you can go back and study the whole context out of your own Bible so that you'll get much more out of it than what we can get here. Brother, you can use the pause button down here in the corner to start and stop this little video study as we go along so that you'll be able to open up your own Bible, read chapter and verse right along with us. Well, with that, let's get right on over into faith, not emotion. To do that, we're going to go to 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7. We walk by faith, not by sight. For a while, we are fully aware of God's concern for us. But then... When God begins to use us in his work, we begin to take on a pitiful look and talk only of our trials and difficulties. And all the while, God is trying to make us do our work as hidden people who are not in the spotlight. None of us would be hidden spiritually if we could help it. Can we do our work when it seems that God has sealed up heavens? Some of us always want to be brightly illuminated saints with golden halos and with the continual glow of inspiration and to have other saints of God dealing with us all the time. A self-assured saint is no value to God. He is abnormal, unfit for daily life, and completely unlike God. We are here not as immature angels, but as men and women who do the work of this world. And we are to do it with infinitely greater power to withstand the struggle because we have been born from above. If we continually try to bring back those exceptional moments of inspiration, it is a sign that it is not God we want. We are becoming obsessed with the moments when God did come and speak with us, and we are insisting that he do it again. But what God wants us to do is to walk by faith. How many of us have set ourselves aside as if to say, I cannot do anything else until God appears to me? He will never do it. We will have to get up on our own without any inspiration and without any sudden touch from God. Then comes our surprise and we find ourselves exclaiming, why? He was there all the time and I never knew it. Never live for those exceptional moments. They are surprises. God will give his torches of inspiration only when he sees we are not in danger of 
being led away by them. We must never consider our moments of inspiration as a standard way of life. Our work is our standard. I pray to you, Lord, to deliver me from the fear of death. When my eyes open in the dawn of heaven, may I see you standing to welcome me, and may I receive your well done. Pardon me. <coughs> <coughs> Got a little frog in my throat. Now turn to 2 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 14 and we can read together. Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. I'm happy now. In Revelation chapter 1 and verse 5, Jesus Christ loved us and washed us from our sins in his own blood. Brethren, in the word of God is the only one we follow. Never the tradition of men. Beware the tradition of men that make void the word of God. Brethren, I pray that that's not what you're doing making void the word of God. Are you celebrating this May Day, this day of orgy? Look it up. It's a tradition of the pagan men, the tradition that comes from Satan. As I say, look it up, don't believe me. Follow it through. If you want to walk on that narrow path and see the kingdom and have eternal salvation with the Father and the Son. Get down on your knees and repent for following any of the traditions of men. And that may can mean the Sundays and the uh, Easter's and the Christmas and the Halloween's and our, our yearly New Year's. That's all Ben's uh, tradition. That's the pagan way. Follow the Lord's way. He has holy days set up for you. Seven incomplete days. And that's how you follow the Lord. And you walk as he walks. Brethren, while you're on your knees and asking the Father and the Son to bring the Spirit within you to drive away all doubt, to strengthen your faith, also ask the Father to give you the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of that love letter he sent to you. And that love letter is your whole Bible from the end of Genesis to the Amen of Revelation. Brethren, with that we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.